Hi, everyone. Dr. Seuss once said, I like nonsense. It wakes up the brain cells. Fantasy is a necessary ingredient in living. It's a way of looking at life through the wrong end of a telescope, which is what I do. And that enables you to laugh at life's realities. And I completely agree with him. Hi, everyone. This is Julie Baylog from the College of Court Reporting. We at CCR this week wish to honor Dr. Seuss today, whose birthday is this Saturday, March 2nd. And we are taking part in the national event that you may have heard about this week called Read Across America. Theodore Seuss Geisel, as you see, better known to the world as the beloved Dr. Seuss, was born in 1904 in Springfield, Massachusetts. And over the course of his lifetime, he created a literary library that generations of us have enjoyed over our lifetimes. And I'm sure we've read it to our kids. We've had it read to us. It's just a great uh, group of books that we've all enjoyed and appreciate. And he kind of takes life and looks at it in a peculiar way, like I said in this first quote. At the time of his death on September 24, 1991, Mr. Geisel had written and illustrated 44 children's books, including such all-time favorites as Green Eggs and Ham, Oh, the Places You'll Go, Fox and Fox, and my favorite, The Lorax. Um, his books have been translated into more than 15 languages. Over 200 million copies have found their way into our homes and hearts around the world. Today we are going to celebrate the achievements of Dr. Seuss by reading one of my son's favorite books, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, for a bit of dictation for speed building. Um, I've used his material in my classes in 6080 speeds and 12100 speeds throughout the years for literary practice. And at first, a lot of students think, oh, this is going to be easy. It's Dr. Seuss. How hard can it be? Well, you want to make sure you remember, this material is based on a, a certain rhythm that he's well known for writing with. And it is an excellent way that I found, and we've gotten really good student feedback over the years, for you guys to practice with small words, especially um, contractions, word endings, and of course, the rhythm that you hear. Um, I am going to read this book today. And two speeds. I'm going to read the first half of the book at 120, and then I'm going to pause, and then I'm going to read the second part of the book, the rest of the book, at 160. So get your machines. It's a really fun way to practice, and uh, keep in mind this week and celebrate the joy of reading. I know it would be hard to believe that an English teacher would enjoy reading, but I do, especially Dr. Seuss. And a really fun and neat way to practice on your machines. So let's start today. Get your machines ready. And we are going to start at our speed of 120. I will pause, and then we're going to give it a push up to 160. And enjoy it. It's fun. Here we go. Ready? One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little star. This one has a little car. Hey, what a lot of fish there are. Yes, some are red and some are blue. Some are old and some are new. Some are sad and some are glad. And some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Some are thin and some are fat. The fat one has a little yellow hat. From there to here, from here to there, funny things are everywhere. Here are some who like to run. They run for fun in the hot, hot sun. Oh me, oh my, oh me, oh my. What a lot of Funny things go by. Some have two feet. Some have four. Some have six feet. And some have more. Where do they come from? I can't say. 
but I bet they have come a long, long way. We see them come. We see them go. Some are fast and some are slow. Some are high and some are low. Not one of them is like another. Don't ask us why. Go ask your mother. Say, look at his fingers. One, two, three. How many fingers do I see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He has eleven. Eleven. This is something new. I wish I had eleven too. Bump, bump, bump. Did you ever ride a wump? We have a wump with just one hump, but we know a man called Mr. Gump. Mr. Gump has a seven hump wump. So if you like to go bump, bump, just jump on the hump of the wump of Gump. Who am I? My name is Ned. I do not like my little bed. This is no good. This is not right. My feet stick out of bed all night. And when I pull them in, oh dear, my head sticks out of bed up here. We like our bike. It is made for three. Our mic sits up in back, you see. We like our mic, and this is why. Mike does all the work when the hills get high. Hello there, Ned. How do you do? Tell me, tell me what is new. How are things in your little bed? What is new? Please tell me, Ned. I do not like this bed at all. A lot of things have come to call. A cow, a dog, a cat, a mouse, Oh, what a bed. Oh, what a house. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I cannot hear. Will you please come over near? Will you please look in my ear? There must be something there, I fear. Say, look, a bird was in your ear. But he is out, so have no fear. Again, your ear can hear, my dear. My hat is old. My teeth are gold. I have a bird I like to hold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. My shoe is off. My foot is cold. I have a bird I like to hold. My hat is old. My teeth are gold. And now my story is all told. We took a look. We saw a nook. On his head he had a hook. On his hook he had a book. On his book was how to cook. We saw him sit and try to cook. He took a look at the book on the hook. But a nook can't read. So a nook can't cook. So what good to a nook is a hook, cook, book. All right, a little warm up at 120. Get your fingers ready. We are going to now push that up and read the rest of the story at 160. At 160. Here we go, everybody, ready? The moon was out and we saw some sheep. We saw some sheep take a walk in their sleep. By the light of the moon, by the light of a star, they walked all night from near to far. I would never walk. I would take a car. I do not like this one so well. All he does is yell, yell, yell. I will not have this one about. When he comes in, I put him out. This one is quiet as a mouse. I like to have him in the house. At our house, we open cans. We have to open many cans, and that is why we have a van. A Zans for cans is very good. Have you a Zans for cans? You should. I like to box. How I like to box. So every day I box a gox. In yellow socks I box my gox. I box in yellow 
got box soft. It is fun to sing if you sing with a ying. My ying can sing like anything. I sing high and my ying sings low and we are not too bad, you know. This one I think is called a yeet. He likes to wink, he likes to drink, 